Hello again, everybody. John and Nelly here with another beer review for you guys. Today, I'm going to look at the new Budweiser Freedom Reserve Red Lager. Just introduced 2018. It's a limited release. Um, it's 5.4% alcohol, and it's supposedly George Washington's own recipe. Now, you may remember back in 2017, Budweiser released the 1933 Repeal Reserve Amber Lager. Now, this one was pretty good. Uh, I think I gave it like a B-plus overall. It was a pretty good uh, lager beer, and it was only out for a few months. Uh, I did enjoy it, though, so this was a solid B to B-plus range beer. So now we're going to see how the Freedom Reserve Red Lager stacks up. Let's see what we got. There are a couple of reviews already out there on YouTube. Ronald Terrio does a really good one, and uh, Jerry Fort, the beer review guy, also does a review of this, and they both really liked it. Uh, I have not had it yet, so let's crack into it and see what we've got. I'm really excited to try this one. I think Budweiser is doing good things with these limited release beers. Gets a lot of people excited about the product. Go out and buy a bunch of it, and then they discontinue it, and then everybody's waiting for the next big thing. Uh, and then maybe, just maybe, if one of them does really, really well, they might consider uh, putting it in their permanent lineup. I'm not really sure. But, so this could just be a really big test market for a future beer that will be on their permanent shelf. So, poured really nicely, uh, about a half finger head, it's dissipating quickly. Got some good carbonation going up the glass there. The color is it's like a reddish amber color. It looks really nice in the glass. It actually looks, if my uh, memory is serving me correctly, it looks a lot like the 1933 Repeal Reserve did in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Ooh, this one smells really nice. Sweet, malty, oh, bready. It smells like, mm, like toast almost. Like when you get up in the morning, you put some two pieces of white bread in the toaster, and it pops up, and you butter it and get into it. It smells like a good piece of toast. So definitely some roasted malt in this one. Oh, this one smells really good, guys. All right, I am. The anticipation is killing me. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. Cheers. I have a terrible poker face with these kind of things, so if you're watching my review, you can probably already tell that I like this beer. Mm. Roasted malt, that toasty, you know, that, that bready, toasty quality comes through on the mouthfeel, in the palate. It is sweet. It is malty. It does have a good bready quality to it. There is some hot presence on this one to kind of balance out the malty sweetness that you get. It's you know it's a medium roast. It's it's definitely not dark roasted. It's kind of right in the middle there, as you could probably tell with the color too. If it was much more darkly roasted, you'd be looking at a stout. This is really enjoyable. Medium carbonation, light to medium mouthfeel. Just a real well balanced beer. It finishes pretty dry. It's crisp. It's refreshing. The drinkability with this at 5.4%. 
is really high. Uh, it's not a heavy beer by any means. I mean, you could definitely session this um, red lager. This is better than a lot of red lagers that I've had. I think this is de this is well, this is better than the Budweiser Repeal Reserve. It's a little bit more balanced. Carbonation is a little bit better. It's got more of a hot presence on the back end to balance out that malty sweetness, whereas the Repeal Reserve Lager was malt forward, didn't really have any hot bites, so it was a little bit less balanced. This one, much more balanced. Much more enjoyable. It's going down really nicely, guys. Got some nice lacing on the side of the glass there as well. Just a really enjoyable beer. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a rating. And um, 95 out of 100. It's a solid A beer, and I could even be low baller. It is up there on the excellent scale for sure. So, yeah, 95 out of 100. I highly recommend that you go out, find it, try it while you can. Limited time offering, guys. So get it while it's hot. This is really a great, great beer. Anheuser-Busch has done so well with the limited release offerings that they've had. Um over the last year or so. I hope they keep putting out products like this. This one's so good. Uh, I bought a six pack. It was $9.99 and you know what? It was worth every penny. Um, this is definitely a craft style beer that is better than a lot of craft beers that I've had. I will be going out and buying another six pack of this rest assured. Uh, this one is a winner. And I definitely want to enjoy it while I can. So 95 out of 100, guys. That'll do it for this review. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. And until next time, guys, cheers.